Greetings gamer guys and gals, this is Envy with Glutton Gaming and today we're going to be talking about the mighty quest for Epic Loot! This is a hack and slash put out by Ubisoft Montreal who's actually the same group who does Assassin's Creed but more recently they've been kind of toying with an indie feel. You could see Child of Light for a good reference of that. Uh, and this is a free to play hack and slash however the graphics the smoothness of running the 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 whole thing it's just graphically good easy controls uh, you could tell that it's a very professional game um, if I didn't mention it is free to play however I do kind of get the opinion or the feeling that this might be a pay to win as you can see right here as we're looking at our four main characters you see here we have the mage which is my favorite on the far left here and you can kind of see just from the characters there's a very comical feel to this game I mean, this beard is ridiculous and you'll see later his beard actually like dances with him and stuff it's kind of entertaining and you know he has his basic fire unholy damage which I don't know what unholy is devil damage or something I don't know and um, electric damage and then here's the knight he's your basic melee character you see he has like an eyeball and his sword there the knight actually if I remember right this is an open beta but earlier in beta the knight was actually like the narrator character and he's not anymore for some reason I'm not sure why uh, then we have the archer here you see he only has one eye which uh, is ironic because my uncle actually lost an eye while doing archery stuff so it must be a typical injury um, and then the runaway here you do have to pay to get her which is a little bit of a bummer the only female character you have to pay for uh, I do imagine there'll probably be more heroes in the future but I'm gonna go ahead and play the mage right now which is free sweet and they put you just straight in the game right away this is actually technically the tutorial section, but I'm going to cut out all the tutorial crap because it's boring. But here we go! Envious Envy versus the first raid! And I'm going to make me some chicken tonight! Look at those chickens pop with money. I don't know where they were keeping that money. They seem limited on pockets, but... Bag of bones. They have, they have their cute little heads on their axes. That's adorable. If I ever get my head cut off, I'm going to wear it on an axe, posthumously of course. Oh, and that's it. I win the game. Swing! Okay, time to leave! Yeah, that's not how you leave. I need to go out this door here. Okay. So, here we go. Like I said, the controls are super simple. Inventory, I'm gonna equip my gloves there. It's just click click. My scale bar right next to that, my flame burst. Unfortunately, the skills seem locked. You may have to go through your settings and be able to change that. But as is default, your skills have to kind of go in either your mouse or one, two, three. And let's go ahead and try this one. Envious Envy, or yeah, versus Super Hog Castle. Down with the itsy bitsies. You know, this reminds me of when I was a teenager. I used to take hairspray and a lighter, and <laughs> I used to kill spiders that way. I know it's probably not a great idea if any of you are getting any great ideas from that. Um, probably lucky I didn't set my house on fire, but it was fun. Oh, the derps. Derps and itsy bitsies. What do they have? A cap. I'll put that on later. I'm. I mean, obviously, you could tell in these early levels, like any game, it's just not that difficult. Yeah, you can rotate your camera here. Uh, there we go. However, I play a lot of Diablo 3. I do not mind the locked camera, and Diablo kind of has the same perspective. And that's fine. I, I don't need to mess with it to see what I'm doing. <gasps> More chickens! I just baked them bitches up. A snotter. I always like the name snotter. Every time I see one of them, I always say Harry Snotter. I'm gonna play some kidditch. Boop. 
You have to be kind of care. I, I don't. I don't know who would sit there and stand in that big red circle and get hit by that fire. But you know, got to pay a little bit of attention, I guess. I haven't played enough this game to really know how difficult it can get, but I imagine it does get harder than this. Oh, it looks like a boss. Like a boss. Super hard steward. See? See? He's like a cyclops with his skull on his axe. That's just kick-ass. Oh, and there's my door. Obviously, every time you cross the door, it's pretty much, I win. Ding! Oh, emotes. I haven't played with the emotes at all, so I imagine you can dance and stuff. Like I said, you... I'll, you'll see a little dance later with his beard at some point. I'll try to show you that. Oh, and new skill. It looks like a shield. Storm armor. Yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and, and equip that. Oh, and now... So, we just attacked a couple castles. You actually have your own castle and you have to build up your defenses. This part, to me, kind of feels more like an RTS in a way where you build your defenses so other people can't come and rapey rape you uh, but they don't call it that they call it a hack and slash so i don't know but here we go i'm just gonna go through all this tutorial i just put in a gold mine that's how you're going to farm up gold here's your life force life source i don't know what it was or maybe it wasn't blacksmith and brewery sorry so you can make gear you can make beer oh pots maybe not beer so much and you can farm the gold off of the gold source or whatever the hell that was um, and this is that's why I kind of say it's probably pay to win just because that gold does not generate very fast either do does the life source bits <laughs> it's pretty slow however I imagine as you upgrade that gets better too so don't don't let that prevent you from trying it out because it is a fun game now my quest was to go hit this level 4 castle, so here I am, Envious Envy versus Count Snottingham. I don't know what the snot thing's all about. I mean, maybe the demographic isn't quite my age, I'm just not getting it, but there are like snot piles all over the ground it looks like. Oh, remember how I said nobody would stand there in that circle and get hit? Ah, I just did. Let's see, this one's obviously quite a bit bigger. Oh, you see I equipped a another skill there. So you see it's kind of color-coded, the orange skill being fire, P or purple being unholy, and then the blue being electric. Look at those Venus flytrap mechanical jaws of death. I would try to avoid those. They look scary. Oh, is that Mr. Yuck? Do you see that on the carpet there? It looks like Mr. Yuck. Don't eat chemicals, kids. Bad for your heart. Something. <laughs> a green scepter. Sweetness. Oh, and I'm level four. I haven't showed you all the leveling I've been doing, but... Oh, so many snotas. This place is going to be disgusting. Oh, what's this business here? <gasps> what is this? It is... A jello mold! That's right, I just walked through a jello mold. Mmm, lime. That cyclops is kind of big. That's what she said. Hmm? Oh, another jello mold. And see, I don't get the point of the jello mold. Oh, look at those octopuses. Their little eyes are poking out of the glory hole on the side there. You see that? Oh, and then they're dead. That was very depressing. These things on the floor are kind of funny too, like, I'm not going to step in those. Maybe it'd be great if in your castle you put them all so people had to step in them. That would make a lot more sense than that. Oh, jello mold. And I got hit by that again. I'm actually losing health. My goodness. I am bad at life. A bone puppeteer. That just sounds naughty. Have you ever heard of the penis puppeteers? That's what that reminds me of. It's, uh, if you haven't heard of it, and, you know, of course you're of age, you should 
totally check that out. It's actually really impressive what those guys can do with their parts. Their tids and bits. Oh, more another squidly peeking at me. Oh, you going down, snotters. Going down. Oh, man. That is epically easy. Okay. Let's see. Where do I go? I think I've got to be about done. This is a much bigger place. You'll see later as you keep playing, you can add extensions to your own castle because you saw right now mine is just one strip. But obviously this guy, I mean, it's an NPC, but still. There. Oh, Snot Kilgrim. That's a Scott, Scott Pilgrim reference, me thinks. We are sex bubble bomb. We're here to make you feel sad and think about death and stuff. That's not really the quote. Oh, I'm gonna die. Speaking of thinking of death, here I go. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, sweet. Pop the pot. And I lived. Uh, as you can see, too, uh, I should point it out if we see it again, but the mobs will drop the little health orbs like in Diablo 3. Kind of seems like there should be a copyright issue about that, because I swear, these orbs look the exact same as the Diablo ones. They might be a little smaller, but um, you don't always need a ton of pots, because you can sometimes just walk across an orb and... See, there's one. Yep, and I live. Oh, that snot's kind of gruesome. Count Snottingham himself. He's cute. Does he have a mustache? He does. He has a little... Piggy frog mustache. What is he? He's not really a frog. Because he has a big old tail, and I don't know if any frogs have tails. And he kind of has a piggy nose. Oh. Maybe he's part lizard, part pig. It's what. <gasps> it's Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog's love child. Evil love child. I figured that, and I'm all proud of myself. <laughs> These glue traps are kind of funny. It's gonna shake, shake, shake. Oh, and it explodes. And there's my door. I'm done. Let's see what we get for this. Look at those big chests. Ooh. Victory. See, you don't get a ton for tackling this. Because I actually went into this when I was under level 4. And it was a level 4 castle. So I would... Oh, his little beard was dancing there. Sorry, I should have pointed that out sooner. But I would think that you would get more of a reward for that and I realize once again it's low level I actually don't know what the level cap is right now but I'll go ahead and put that down below when I look that up and you know that's gonna change it always level caps change all the time anyway so here we are I'm gonna add some minions to my own castle I'm beefing up my own castle now so I'm gonna put some derps down just because I like derps these are my high school friends my group of derps. I'm gonna put them. I don't know how many I can get. Okay, so you see there, that's your defense rating. That's showing me the maximum with my castle. I can have 15 slots. That's not really gonna stop anyone. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our castle here. Let's see, I mean, you can kind of see it's. I think it's super user friendly. It's even easier, like if you've ever played Ebony. I'd say the controls are even easier than that, and actually, I played Ebony Vanilla, so now it's a whole different game, so. If you played Ebony like five years ago, <laughs> then you'll know what I'm talking about. It was pretty easy, or it's like, I don't know, farm village easy, I guess. There's our little tutorial guy. Okay, ooh, a Cyclops. I like me a Cyclops. See, and it's kind of showing you like the area of effect there. I believe that's its aggro range that it's showing. I imagine you could probably turn that side to side, and I'm just too much of a nublet to figure out how to do that yet, but you'll figure it out as you play. You see here, I can specialize him. I'm going to specialize him for the uh, tackle, because that sounds kind of badass to me. Here we go. I'm going to put some glue traps down. I was just making fun of the glue traps. Now I'm going to put some in. See, I'm hoping if... Oh. There we go. That trap is a lot bigger. Raise your defense. See, you see now I have 25 defense spots. So that's going to offer me a lot better chance of keeping somebody out. But honestly, it's still not going to keep any damn buddy out. 
so I get that rotating cannon, but I'm going to do more glue mines. I kind of have this theory that if I put enough of them in there, you'll have to step in one, slow down, and then hopefully that will give my Cyclops enough time to tackle you. I'm hoping. But in order for your castle to like go live or whatever, you have to validate it. So you run it yourself, and I'm going to show you that in just a bit, but I'm going to go ahead and cap out my defenses here first. Uh, I'll just do the rest in snotters. See, there, everything I have is turning that direction. I really should figure out how to turn my mobs, but I just am not that invested right now, so I'm not going to do it. So there. Okay, so here we are. This is actually me versus my own castle. The castle validation. You see here, it, my castle's level 2, so it took me down to level 2 to show if I was the same level how easy it would be for me. Except, you know, I have more skills than I did at level 2, so I don't know how accurate that is, but whatever. Uh, that trap seems to do nothing. That's good to remember. The glue trap did nothing, but I'm actually losing a little health. It could be worse. I have a lot of... Oh, I kind of one-shot those snotters. <laughs> and there's more that I didn't aggro. Possibly had I put them facing the front, I would have aggroed them. I don't know. So I just destroyed my own gold thing, my own life source thing, farm, mine, whatever. Creatures killed, I killed all of them. So you see there, if you don't kill everything during your own validation, then when somebody else goes through, those monsters will just be sleeping. And that's kind of lame. So in conclusion, I would say that this is probably a really good game for somebody a little younger possibly. Or, you know, if you don't have a full hour to dedicate to the MOBA that you're playing right now, or possibly you just got really pissed off because you totally, like, arenas are pissing you off or whatever, it might be a good little light relief from that kind of PvP. However, um, yeah, I would say definitely give it a try. But anyway, this has been Envy for Glutton Gaming, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have something to say.